Hi, welcome to this Kukumbori tutorial uh, part 3 by soft post. So in this uh, tutorial uh, I'm gonna tell you how to uh, I'm gonna explain you how to share the same Selenium web driver instance then how to embed the screenshots in the uh, HTML reports and also execute the uh, uh, write the step definitions using lambda expressions. So let us start with the Selenium web driver sharing the Selenium web driver instance. So to share the Selenium web driver instance or uh, share the data as such across the step definitions in Cucumber what you have to do is you have to create one uh, class uh, with any name it's a shared class and then in that you can create the instances that you want to share for example uh, you want to share the web driver so I have created the instance of the web driver and then in the before annotations or before method I have created that instantiated that driver and that driver uh, can be used by multiple step definition classes using this get driver method and in the cleanup I have just closed that browser or uh, killed that driver instance so now let us see how to uh, use this driver instance uh, in step definitions so we have got this class and what we are going to do is we are going to pass that uh, class object into the constructor so this is the step definition class and in the constructor of that we have passed the shared class that I just showed you so here we have passed that object and then we have instantiated the local object of that class and as we know that this class has got one instance uh, one method called as get driver which gets the instance of that uh, driver so that's how we can access that driver that we created earlier and then we can use the drivers methods and we can use this uh, driver in this particular step definition class so similarly you can create another step definition class and uh, pass the same object in the constructor of that step definition class and then use the driver instance using the similar uh, similar way so that's how we can share this uh, driver and similarly we can share the data as well so if you want to st uh, like share the data what you can do is you can create here some variable or the data dictionary and you can access it from here like how we access the driver using get driver similarly you can access that particular data structure from here from the step definitions and which we can use across multiple step definitions and remember that uh, to use all these uh, things like to pass the data to the uh, or uh, like to pass the uh, or to use the parameterized constructor in the step definition classes you have to use one dependency and that's very important otherwise this code will not work so if you go to the pom.xml file you will find that we have used this pico container dependency so this is required actually uh, without that this shared class thing will not work so actually we cannot use the parameterized constructors in the stable definition classes without that pico container so remember that you have to import or uh, add that dependency first and then only you can use this coding so that's how we can share the same driver instance across multiple stable definition classes so moving on uh, next thing that I want to tell you is writing to the cucumber HTML report and uh, embedding the screenshot so for that I have created one Selenium step definition class over here and you will notice that in the before method we have passed the scenario object this scenario object has got uh, multiple methods like first one is write which is used to uh, write to the HTML reports in the cucumber and this is also got uh, one method called as is fail so if the scenario is failed this returns true and in here we have used this embed method of the scenario object to embed the screenshot that we have taken using the Selenium API this is normal Selenium API to take the screenshot using driver we have taken the screenshot and then embedded it into the HTML report of the cucumber using embed method so that's how you can write to the uh, HTML report as well as embed the screenshot into the HTML report in cucumber so moving on uh, next thing is I wanted to show is like how to use the Java 8 or lambda expressions to write the cucumber stable definitions so for that 
you will need one dependency so the dependency is java 8 like that you have to add the dependency so normally it is uh, we use the older uh, uh, annotations methods you can use cucumber java but if you want to use the lambda expressions in the stable definitions you can use this java 8 api and once you do that if you write any of the steps you can use it using uh, java step uh, like lambda expression and this is how the lambda expressions look like so the that step definition class has to implement this en so this this uh, class or interface you have to in, uh, import cucumber dot api dot java dash dot in so en so this uh, um, interface is required because we have used this given and then things over here and remember that you have to put those stable definitions inside the constructor of that class most of the time people forget putting these stable definitions inside the constructor of this class because normally we uh, put the stable definitions uh, outside of this constructor but here in the using the java 8 lambda expressions you have to put this into the constructor and then execute your code so i'm going to explain you how to add sample or create the sample uh, lambda feature file so feature file will be similar as such and if you execute this scenario look at how the uh, code snippets are created using the java 8 expressions so as you can see uh, the snippets that are created are uh, like in the java 8 uh, lambda syntax normally it uses the add but since we have used the java uh, 8 uh, cucumber api uh, it is creating in this way and you can just copy that and paste it into the step definitions like i just showed you that java 8 class so in here you can just paste into the constructor of that stable definition class and another thing that i wanted to tell is that there is already existing bug in the uh, java 8 lambda expressions so if you want to uh, use the java 8 lambda expressions make sure that you are using the uh, jdk version as project structure in here notice that i have used this uh, jdk as 1.8 update 51 uh, so it's working properly but if you use another uh, latest jdk like uh, 92 update or say 77 update you will not be able to execute any test using the java 8 lambda expressions you have to use this particular jdk otherwise tests will fail so that's all about how to use the lambda expressions in cucumber if you like this video hit like button and subscribe to my channel for more such videos thanks for watching hi friends if you find this video useful Please hit like button and for more videos, please subscribe to my channel and also visit www.softforce.org for more tutorials and updated videos. Thanks for watching my video.